All right, the map is Europe. They're spawning right here. Yeah, the, the thing about backseat gaming... All right, so 40%. I guess that's 40%. Wait for one full tick, and... Boom, we go. Wait again. All right, that was a hefty little send. And wait for it, and go. Yeah. Look, the thing about backseat gaming... Like, it can actually be very helpful for, like, you getting better at the game. The biggest problem is, um... Like, there's two kinds of backseat gamers. There's, like, the, the, the good, appreciated backseat gamers that, like, they, um, they don't backseat game very much, and when they do, they're teaching you something super useful and helpful. Then there's, like, the annoying little kid backseat gamers who are constantly about this. So we got 4,000 bits of land, not that much, and we ended up with 15,000 troops. Or, yeah, I, so, yeah, it worked out pretty good, I'd say. A little, I wouldn't say it's, like, insanely better than what I do, but it's a little bit better for sure. I'd say it's a little bit better. We still like we still ended up with only four thousand pixels, which isn't that many pixels. I can the way I expand, I can end up with between four thousand and four thousand five hundred easily. And with a spot of luck, sometimes six thousand if I aggress go pretty aggressively. But my troop count is looking pretty amazing, to be honest. So I think maybe that's a trade off. You get your this this the way of expanding. You guys just taught me um, doesn't get quite as much land as my way. But the troop, the troop, ooh, the troop, though, the troop amount is looking tasty. It's pretty good, so I think, I think yours might be a good way to go. It's also a little bit easier to do, just zone out and look at the thing at the top, right? Uh, do, do, do. <laughs> uh, you guys saying I called off for help and shaking my head. It's, the thing about backseat gaming is, like, there is, it's like, there's a time and a place, and also there's like a right methodology of doing it. Like, there, backseat gaming is an art of basically... You, you gotta have an intuition for like, when the right moment is to do it. And most people don't. That's why I don't really appreciate backseat gaming, because most people suck at it, and just end up being annoying, because they... Because like, what, what, is, what happens is most people, they just like, they go... They do it too much. They do it the wrong times, they'll do it when I'm, like, distracted, like, whatever, it's just, it's, it's all about timing. Now, even, eh, we're not doing, let's not doing too great here. It's like, and, you know, if, if chat's flying by and I'm having a, a, a an in-depth conversation about one thing or another, not the time to backseat game. Um, if I'm talking about a specific game mechanic and thinking about it, and, you know, you have, like, a really good, like, insight f into it, you know, and you just say one thing and leave it be, and you're not like micromanaging, nitpicking, um, maybe it's okay. It's, but in general, my advice is like, be careful. It's, it's, oh, that, that's actually the perfect analogy. Um, pretend you're driving in a car with someone. Um, backseat driving is something that's annoying where like, you're in the car with them. This guy's just leave me alone. It's nice. Um, you're in the car driving with somebody, and you're like, ah, turn left, right, here, turn here, turn left, right here, turn your wheel, do this, do that, and they're like, shut up, dude, I know how to drive. Like, you know, kind of thing. Like, backseat driving is annoying. But, but, if the person gets distracted, and then there's a dog in the road, that is the time to be like, DOG! You know? Because, you know, and they're like, oh my god, they slam on the bricks. Oh, thank god you yelled out dog. It's like, there is a time and a place for everything. Like, there's an exception to every rule. For the most part, backseat gaming is annoying as crap. But, if you know the right thing at the right moment, then, then it's good, you know? It's, it's all about timing. Hey, thanks for the money. It's all about timing, you know, knowing, doing the right thing. Like, I, th I, th I think the analogy's already been properly explained, to be honest. Um, <laughs> uh, do you do your streams, bukus of your personality because of your take on things? Uh, go with the bots faster with 5 to 10% when bot troops are super small. No need to use 10,000 troops on 1,000 true bot. Agreed. Log analogy. It's about drive. It's about drive. <laughs> All right, we're kind of capped out on troops here. Unfortunately, we're capped on troops. I can't beat this guy. Can I, like, find it? He's, he's leaving me alone, though. Maybe, like, pump money to this guy. And, uh, give some money to other people. Uh, maybe give you some money. Uh, no, you're pretty capped, uh, too. Um, 
Gray's leaving me alone, and I don't want to, like, break that truce, so I feel like investing in my teammates is probably, like, the winning maneuver here. Yeah, yeah, helping this uh, guy over here gain control of this, as long as Gray just kind of, like, chills and leaves me alone. Yeah, I'll keep, I'll keep financing him. That seems like a winning strategy. I don't know why Gray is so cool with not attacking me, but I'm all about it. I'll just keep, uh, sending my money over to my allies, and, uh, giving them the power to, like, Gain control elsewhere. Who's uh, you're fine, I think. Uh, oh, he's got five million. You're not fine. That's, you're not fine at all. Hello. Yo, God. I really appreciate Gray being a bro and not attacking me. To be fair, my teammates would probably attack him if he did. Uh, let's give this more, give him more money, so he can get control of that island up there. That's a pr pretty big, hefty bit of land. Gray has to worry about. Zzz. That's a valid point. He doesn't want to go to war. So I can keep, uh, dumping money. It's called being good teammate, to uh, Javier is also looking pretty good. I want this guy to hurt, gain control of this, uh, island, though. Pretty solid. He's having a hard- he's, he's having a hard time pushing this dictatorship guy out of there. Like, this is, what I, this is what I mean about the defense modifier in this game being, like, overpowered. He's got six million troops, I'm dumping money at him, and it's taking him, like, 75 seconds to push out a guy who's got, like, less land and half the troops. It's just, like, it takes too much. To force out some people like there's just there's too much of a defense modifier you have to literally send 10 times their troops to make any significant leeway to the land it's kind of out of, it's kind of out of hand here all right uh javier is a good one to send money into over here i would say all right uh man i just the fact that gray's or gray's attacking this guy over here now um but honestly i still feel like just pumping money into this guy over here is actually pretty good. Because even if, um... The uh, Gray rolls through both of us, these guys can pull the team to victory. I think the guy's getting financed too. That is possible, but it wouldn't, it wouldn't surprise me if he wasn't. It wouldn't surprise me if he, was, was, if he wasn't, because the defense modifier in this game is bonkers. Like, some like somebody with, a, like, 3 million troops can withstand somebody who has 7 million troops for, like... Literally like 90 seconds if they just don't attack back and just sit back and defending because it's kind of crazy The modifier All right, he's getting through there. He's getting through there. I've heard two analogies using driving one is for DID and you're not sure vaccine gaming. What's DID? All right, so he's eliminating us. So I'm gonna like Full dump my money into this guy Might as well try and get rid of that too, huh? Um Dump the rest of my money into this guy before he gets eliminate, limits us. We'll probably get pushed out here if he wants to decide to take us out. I guess he chose not to. Um, all right, looks like we'll get pushed out. But I feel like our donating money to our allies actually worked out pretty good. I don't feel like we got that great of a start as far as like getting land. Like the forty percent strategy, it, like it worked about as good as mine. I do feel like I like the forty percent strategy ended up with less land. We ended up with less land with a 40% strategy after every tick. Troop numbers were a little bit healthier than um, what we normally have. So it's like a trade-off. A little bit less land, but a little bit better troops. So it's it's like a slightly improved over my version. That tells me my way wasn't that bad. If your guys' optimal way is only a little bit better. So that's not bad. Smash that like button if you like Territorial IO and you want to see more of it on this channel. Let's go!